night for baseball. If you're afraid to cross the uh, white lines, well, it'll come out tonight for sure because there's no place to hide. Does it get much more exciting than this? Winner go home time. Game number 162. Here we go. And as we have done for the last two nights, we'll keep an eye on the game in Tampa Bay with the Yankees. Red Sox Tampa Bay tied for the wild card spot. And a strike taken by Ellsbury, and we are underway. 77 degrees on a perfect night. And a quick swinging strike to Jimmy Rollins. Here we go. The Rays taking on the New York Yankees. Derek Jeter steps in. He starts the night hitting 298. And the first pitch is a strike call. High drive, deep to left. There it goes. See ya. A grand slam, Mark Teixeira. Hamels with the 0 2 pitch. Swinging a high fly ball. Deep to left center field. Back toward the wall. That ball's gone for Dan Abbott. Right in the air. Goodbye. Home run. The Orioles lead it. Two to one. The Braves had the lead before our game even started. That was kind of a uh, discomforting feeling, <laughs> to be honest. We wanted to get out, get out early. And, uh, and after a half inning, the Cardinals lead it five to nothing. We couldn't control what happened in Tampa. But if we win our game, the worst thing that happens is we go and play another game the next day. It is gone! Pedroia puts the Red Sox ahead! I'm going to tell you something very weird right now, Don. Almost simultaneously, when Pedroia hit his home run, Montesera just hit another one for the Yankees. When that all occurs, I'm thinking about tomorrow. Save the bullpen, Red Sox, please lose. They are pulling out the tarp here in Camden Yards. We got rain delayed. Seven, so we go in the clubhouse, and the Rays are down seven to nothing to the Yankees. So we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. Craig had been nailed. Bring out your closer, and you know that it's him or it's nobody. And he lost Jimmy Rollins to load the bases. Our fate was already, you know, into the next round. But we were going to play the ball game respectable, not going to roll over and just let anybody win. You had to earn it. That's going to be deep enough, and the ball game is tied in the ninth inning. I think that the one thing that we have eliminated tonight is the Red Sox season is not going to end tonight. The Rays aren't going to come back from seven nothing with two inning and a half to go. To win wasn't too realistic at that point, and then with one swing, it just <laughs> that obviously changed. And there it is, gone. hits a long one, and the Rays are right back. Seven. We needed to win was what my scenario was. If we lost, uh, it, it, it didn't really matter. Two outs in the ninth for Carpenter. Ground ball back to Chris. He's got it. He flips to first. Cardinals win this one. Eight to nothing. And they ensure themselves that at least a playoff game uh, tomorrow. The Yankees lead the Rays seven to six. Rays down to their final out. Dan Johnson. Emerges from the dugout. Thing about DJ, he's got ice water. He's a definitely an ice water guy. With that, I felt good about knowing that he's not going to be intimidated by the moment. Johnson hits it down the right field line. That ball's going to be fair and gone. And the Rays keep their hopes alive. 7 7. And that was right when I was heading out to the, to the field. So it was like somebody kind of kicked you in the stomach. Ray three as we head to the 13th. The Cardinals know they've done their part. Now Atlanta has to win to force game 163. Got 45 minutes waiting to see uh, if we got, got in or not. It's one of the coolest feelings I've ever had. Little flare into shallow right, and the Phillies have taken the lead on a blue infield hit by Hunter Pence. Phillies got a run, one run lead, and uh, you know, we're getting closer, so this is getting exciting. Braves have 13th inning hope. Potential tying run. Here's Freeman. Freddie Freeman's coming up to the to plate and, you know, chance for double play ball. One to Rollins. Throw to first. And the Philadelphia Phillies have ended the Braves' season. And the wild card goes to the Cardinals. Here at Camden Yards in Baltimore. Bottom of the ninth inning, 3-2. Red Sox on top of the Orioles. And Jonathan Papelbon in. I felt good. Felt really good, actually. Riddle strikes out, and there's two down in the ninth. Game ain't never over. You gotta get 27 outs, and 
there's 26 outs, it's not 27. The hardest out to get is that final one. Dino is 0 for 4. The pitch. Swing line drive left field. Here comes Crawford. Slides. Oh, it's trapped. They did it. They did it. The Orioles have beat the Red Sox. The Red Sox lose in a crucial 162nd game of the year. And now they must wait and see what happens at Tropicana Field in St. Pete. And the Baltimore Orioles have just beaten Boston. Now the Red Sox can only hope that the Yankees win this game. Longo coming up to the plate, you hear the buzz from the crowd, you know something bad happened in Baltimore, and I knew our bullpen was running thinner, so I really thought to myself, Longo, please end it right here, and it ended all in one moment. Swing a line drive down the left field line towards the corner. It's gone! It's gone! Evan Longoria has just hit the Rays for the American League wild card. And the rope with Trumpet down the field's going to blow off. I wanted to be popping champagne tonight, but uh, I never imagined it'd be this way. Who would have believed all of these things could have happened simultaneously in one night and be for real? If you're a baseball fan, it was a classic ending. If you're a part of the Red Sox, it wasn't too fun. You can't sugarcoat this. This is awful. Shouldn't have been this way. What a night of baseball. You know, I think anybody that loves the game considers that, that night one of the greatest nights of regular season history. Happy 